And uh, now with the rush to beat the deadline for SIM card registration, 11.5 million SIM cards face deactivation as the deadline to update SIM registration lapses Saturday. Data from telecommunication operators shows 53.2 million SIM cards had been reg reg registered for cl by close of Thursday, 13th October 2022, out of 64.7 million total mobile SIM subscriptions. Emily Chebet reports that queues were witnessed in Nairobi a day before the close of the exercise, even as residents from arid and semi-arid areas asked for more time. Majority of them have been on the move due to the current drought situation and accessing registration points for them is an uphill task. A day before the lapse of the six months extension by the Communication Authority of Kenya to allow Kenyans to fully register their SIM cards, queues were visible at outlets run by telcos within the city. Early in the year, the Communications Authority directed the country's mobile operators to ensure that personal details of their subscribers were fully updated by 15th April 2022 in accordance with the Kenya Information and Communications Regulations 2015. By April, majority of Kenyans were yet to comply, hence the extension. waiting Despite the extension, no mobile operator has managed 100% SIM registration. By close of Thursday this week, Safaricom was at 91% registration compliance after registering 38 million SIM cards. Airtel mobile provider was registering 13.4 million SIM cards, which is 78% of its target number. Telcom Kenya, on the other hand, has registered only 40% of its target with 1.8 million SIM cards. Last-minute rush by Kenyans may change these figures by the end of the given period. Nilikuwa industrial area, lakini nimetokoko last week on Friday. Silenda nimekuwa free, likuwa takanga kwa line zango za shikulikiwe. Nimetoka kiangu, na huko line has yed, has isongi. Paka nikasema, sabu niko na shunguri huku, nikuja niriniwe, ni fanya shungu zangu huku za hizu mambo za line. Kenyans from the arid and semi-arid areas who are experiencing drought at the moment have decried the process, saying leading telco companies ought to have visited the area instead of expecting starving Kenyans who are on the move from one place to another to visit their centers. According to them, switching off their SIM cards will have adverse effects, especially for those dependent on money transfers from the government and other donors. <laughs> kati wa kwenda town ku register sim card tunataka serikali itusaidie wasizime simu zetu nimetoka Somalia kutafuta mifugo wangu chakula sijawahi sikia mambo ya sim registration kwa sasa tunapata msaada wa cash transfer kwa simu wakizima tutateseka tunataka watu wa safari kompia wasaidie wananchi ni wao wao wenyewe ni ni wenye biashara ni mzuri wao wenyewe pia wafikie wale mahali ambao wanaweza kuwafikia wananchi. During Thursday's afternoon session at the Senate, Garissa Senator Abdul Kadir Haji urged the government through the Communication Authority to consider past release communities who are yet to register their SIM cards. The people that are affected with the drought live in far villages and centers far from any um, custom, customer service centers where they'll be able to update their registration. The exercise is set to come to an end at the midnight of the 15th of October, after which unregistered SIM cards will be shut off from service, including making calls, receiving calls, sending and receiving SMS, and accessing mobile data. Noncompliance will attract fines for both operators and subscribers. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.